Hi everyone, welcome to segment two of our Joyous Everyday Living system. And we already did segment one, which was movement. This is our next chapter in our system, our simple system of choosing a life of perpetual rejuvenation and partying till checkout time, which simply means staying fully alive and really engaged with life every minute of your life and enjoying it to the fullest, no matter what the permutations are. So chapter two is called nourish. And that really truly means nourish yourself on every level. And you'll notice there's an overlapping theme in all of our chapters as we move through the book and the whole system. And that is really the loving relationship with yourself, which then translates in the role, into the loving relationship with life and with everyone and everything else around you. So chapter two is called Nourish. And we have one of my paintings here, and this is about the enormous flow of life and life that always nourishes us and is always present. It's called Divine Flow. And in the beginning, we have a quote from me called, it says, good food enlivens your present and creates your future. So let's just read uh, the first paragraph or two, and then I'll explain a little bit more about what goes on in the rest of the chapter. So it says, the adage, you are what you eat, has had a long and colorful history and first appeared in English in the 1920s with a quote from nutritionist Victor Lindar. 90% of the diseases known to man are caused by cheap foodstuffs. You are what you eat. So many of you have probably heard that adage, you are what you eat, and I really enjoyed learning the history about it. When the quote was popularized in the 1960s, we had the revelation of the relationship between diet and health. Really, this was a new thing. Besides movement for basic well-being, the other highly important component is diet, or how you feed yourself. Fast and processed food, pesticides and chemical additives from the food industry are proven to lead to a wide variety of health issues. So we have, for my first two suggestions, and really I think the most important in the system are, eat plants and dance. So, uh, and you'll see as you, as you read, I don't advocate for a meatless diet, but our bodies really are attuned historically to having a more plant-based um, fuel system. Your aliveness and the planet's aliveness are one and the same. Poisons, preservatives, chemicals, and unconsciously farmed factory animals are as harmful to the earth as they are to you. Consuming these products puts an entire segment of the population at risk for obesity, diabetes, neurological disorders, and heart conditions, as well as dependency on pharmaceuticals for something counteracting the conditions that they create. This is definitely not the self-directed joy of the body. You'll notice that also in the book, besides loving relationship to self, we're really encouraging self-empowerment and taking responsibility of your own habits and your own thoughts so that you're less dependent on the somewhat negative paradigms that are prevalent in our culture. So, this identity is not self-directed joy of the body. So, what is both healthy and sustainable? Eat simply, if possible, locally, whenever possible. Eat a plant-based diet of fruits and vegetables. If you choose, add organic meats coming from animals that have been fed what they are supposed to eat, such as grass for corn and cows, uh, corn for cows. Okay, now, also in this chapter, besides those thoughts are, we have stories. We have stories of people who have created enormous changes in their health conditions from very serious conditions to absolute health. That's always good to be encouraged and read those. We have the science of what you eat and how it affects every cell in your body. And that's also very fascinating. There's a science to it. Some of you like to hear the science part. And then we finish with practices so you can create your own nutritional practice that works really well for you. So that's chapter number two. Love to have you read it. We'll see you back with chapter number three. Bye for now. I'm Beth Amin with Joyous Everyday Living. And here's to a fabulous party till checkout time life. Bye.